Hello everyone, welcome to today's video. My name is Lucas and today I'm going to be showing you how I built this amazing, you know, job portal or careers page in Framer that basically includes an index page that shows all of the available roles. So like right here, you have the marketing, you have sales, you have engineering, and then you have the, dis the different roles, right? So you have the team, you have the role, you have the location. And then if you click on this, it basically takes you to the specific CMS site where you have the title, you have the location, you have a description, you have a formatted text. And over here you have the, the team that's specific to this specific, you know, engineering team. And then you have the benefits, which is also sp uh, specific to this um, role, right? And then at the very end, you have a form that is specific to this um, role where you have to basically uh, enter your name, your last name, your email, your phone, and your website. And basically you can submit it and via webhook, email, or Google Sheets, you can get this form, uh, uh, form results, sorry, and kind of see where it's coming from, right? So if this is some, something interesting for you guys to kind of learn, um, I'm going to go ahead and show you the process of how I did this. So first things first, I did find some inspiration in the Framer Careers website and in the Webflow Careers website. From the Webflow one, I really like the layout that it had where you have the different teams and then you have the roles in the middle and then you have the location over here on the right side. And what I liked about Framer was the actual detail, detail page. So if you click on, for example, this uh, senior product engineer and you scroll down, you can see the title, you can see a description, you can see the team um, that's related to the specific engineering team, the benefits, and you see like this nice formatted text um, explaining about the, you know, the job, what you'll bring, so responsibilities and so on and so forth. And then at the very end, there's this button, apply for this role. Um, and what I saw from Webflow is that at the end of their description, they have this form. So I kind of wanted to combine all of this, right? So what I started doing was I opened Excaladraw and I basically, basically came up with the structure where we have this careers page as an index page, right? Um, with the different titles or the different teams, engineering, design, HR, whatever. Each one has their different roles. Each role takes you to a job page or a role page where it has the title, the description, formatted text, team members, role benefits, contact form. And then this basically takes you to a, you know, a results, uh, to some results, whether it be via email or Google Sheets. Um, but yeah, before actually building this out, it was important to kind of come up with the different collections that we need, right? The first one obviously was the most important one was the role, right? And the teams. So role, you'd have to know what team it was in. So it was it engineering, was it design, was it legal, was it marketing? Uh, then there was the role title. So the name of the position, right? Senior account manager or um, senior developer, whatever. Location, whether it be remote or in Miami or in Los Angeles, a role short description, um, role information and members. So basically role short description would be this one, right? Role information would be this one. And then the members, which would be over here, right? And then we come, uh, basically what I did was, you know, try to do these multi-references, right? So we have team members and some team members belong over here. And I tried to, I, I, you know, and I started off with this as a multi-reference, but Framer, um, I, I realized that it was better to actually create a separate collection for the members and the members would have this team, uh, this shared um, collection with the roles, right? So once there's a specific role, you can portray the role, right? And then it knows the team from this role and then you can portray the team members based on this team. So it was a little bit easier to kind of, uh, match everything, right? So all in all, we had four collections, roles, we have teams, team members, and benefits. So if we go to Framer and we go to the CMS, you can see the careers, which were the roles, right? We have the teams, so everything from marketing, sales, IT, finance, design, engineering, and we have the members, and you can see that I have a couple different profile shots, names, uh, the teams, right? So those were the most important things. 
and then the benefits which I left empty you can you know put a custom icon if you want but I left them empty for this use case and then in the career you can see let's just open one engineering one so you can see engineering you can pick one of these I picked engineering senior site reliability engineer location the slug comes from the title role description and then the role content so that's basically the main structure that we needed uh, for the four different CMS collections. Now, the first thing that I worked on was on this career page. So like this index page. And as you can see, let me open the layers over here and kind of uh, start with these layers, right? We have the, the, the desktop, obviously. And what I always like to tell people is that I always open all of the breakpoints at the very beginning so I know what I'm doing throughout all of the different breakpoints. I like to design responsively simultaneously, right? So we have this main content over here, which is set as a fill. So as you can see, everything here is zero padding here as well. I mean, here is where we have this initial, this main stack that holds everything, 120 at the top and bottom, 60 on the right and left, but in the mobile view, it is 30 on the right and left. I didn't want to have such a, you know, large padding on the, on the sides, on the mobile view. Um, so we have this content, right? And inside of this content, I added another box, which we could have added to this one as well. Um, but here's where I added this max width. So if I were to press play and go like this, it stays nice and centered. That was kind of important for me um, because I have a large monitor, right? So it stays nice and centered. So I added this max width of 1200 pixels fixed, um, center aligned, obviously. And then inside of this, we have the top where we have these two uh, text elements, H1 and body. I used uh, for the H1 a cool font called Hank and Grotesque, right? And here this body is, uh, you know, the default interior font. And then at the bottom is where things get interesting, right? So we have the bottom, we have the first stack, which is, which are basically three different text elements. So we have team, we have role, and we have location. And notice how the different sizes change, right? So for team, it's 25% relative, for location as well, and then for role, it's fill. So I wanted to have a larger space for role because um, I, I didn't want it to, you know, for these three columns to have the same type of width, I thought that would be quite boring. That would be more fun if the one in the middle where it explains the actual role, um, because usually some roles are going to be longer, that this column would be longer, right? So basically it would take up half of the space and the other two would take up 25%, 25%. So this was my kind of, you know, goal with this. And then underneath this, we have, uh, you can already start seeing that it's not a stack, it's a collection, right? And I started off with the team collection. So basically with these. Right. So with these team collections, you can already start seeing that there is a condition. And what is this condition? That the roles are set. So basically that whenever a specific role has a, whenever a team has a specific role set, then it's visible. If it doesn't, um, for example, if, if uh, finance is available, but they don't have any roles available, uh, roles or, or jobs available, then they're going to be hidden from this screen, right? Marketing, sales, and engineering have all three have jobs, but these other ones, so we have six. So IT, um, design, and finance don't have any roles available, right? So they're not being shown. So that's like the first, you know, condition that we have over here. So we have the title, right? That's linking to the title of the team. And then we have this careers one over here, which is linking to a new collection where we have the filtered um, by the team, right? So team equals team. So that means that the careers, if we didn't have this filter, it would basically show all of the career, um, the all of the, the, the different roles. Um, but since we have this, this specific filter, it's only going to show the roles that um, belong to the specific team, right? So we have that here. And then we have for this individual one, basically, you know, shown like this, where we have two texts also with a very similar style where it's, you know, not this one would be wider than this one, for example. So yeah, that's basically um, 
that's basically it from this specific uh, index page. And by the way, I did change the format a little bit from the mobile view. I took this particular stack out, so it's gone. So if I were to click here, you can see that it's kind of hidden. And I just set the visibility to no, um, because it was it didn't really work out in the in the mobile view. Now for the detail page, I actually, like I said before, I want to combine this framer detail page with the web flow form. So I did kind of do that. So basically, if we go ahead and we just delete these screenshots, we don't need them anymore. But if we go ahead and look into this, so we have a stack, right? And we have a top part and we have a bottom part. The bottom one is just basically this standard previous and next buttons. But in this top part, we have the top and the right or left and the right, sorry, left consisting of this initial stack that has the role title and the role location. So this would be remote, for example. And then we have a description and we have the content that is basically the formatted text over here. And on the right side, we have the members, which is was another interesting thing to do, right? Because here we have a stack and it says marketing team. So if I were to change this to this one, it would be engineering team. And basically what I did was I inserted this teams collection and just added the title here, right? To um, link uh, to this specific. So basically it would only be visible if it was related to this uh, specific blog pages uh, team, right? Which is engineering. And then down here, basically the same thing, but instead of with the teams, it would be with the members. So we had the members, we have the images, and basically also with this condition that the team equals the team of this page, right? So, um, and then we have the benefits underneath, which stack benefits, right? Also, um, I didn't add any condition to this, but it's also possible to add conditions. If, for example, some roles are not 100% remote, you can do that as well. Um, and then at the very bottom of this, so if we were to just close this a little bit, just to organize everything. So we have left and right, right? On the left, at the bottom of the left, we have this form and, and the form, let's just open this. So we have the stack, we have the role title and the application. So it's senior backend engineer application. You can put like application form, right? And then we have different labels. As you can see, if I, if I hover over this one, I actually made, turn this into like a line, but it's actually a label. And this label is set to the role title name. So that means that if someone were to submit this form and put in their, their first name, their last name, their email, their phone number, website, whatever, and hit submit, I would know what the actual, um, you know, what actual job they're applying to, right? So this is kind of like a little hidden thing that I added to this form, right? But um, yeah, this is like the very basics. You could send this to, to directly to your email. You can send this to Google Sheets, or you can use some type of web webhook to send this, you know, to Slack or something like that. Also, if you want to add some special type of functionality, like the ability to add a, um, you know, for the users to insert their resumes, for example, you can use something like Framer Forms. Um, and if you guys are interested in that, please let me know in the comments, and I can, you know, do another video. Uh, covering that, right? But um, yeah, that's basically it. That's basically like my little career page that I built. So it's just the career index page and the career detail page, right? So, and feel free to, you know, remix remix this in the description below. Um, I'll have that remix link available for you. And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.